In this lesson, we'll create retaining walls as well as some other external structures on the site, like stairs and a ramp. Go to the Zero Ground Floor Plan and open the default wall settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Retaining Wall Favorite from the Lesson 19 Favorites folder. Make the following changes in the Geometry and Positioning panel. Wall Top, Not Linked. Wall Height, 820. Bottom Offset to Home Story, minus 770. Structure, Basic. Building Material, Stone, Structural. Wall Thickness, 300. Reference Line, Inside Face. Reference Line Offset, 0. In the Model Panel, deactivate all overrides. Set the tags as Non-Load-Bearing Element, Exterior, and Footing. Finally, select Site and Landscape Terrain Layer, and click OK. Select the Chain Geometry Method in the Info Box. Hover the cursor over the bottom left corner of the pavement slab, and in a counterclockwise direction, click on all the corners of the pavement. The last point of the wall should be in the top left corner of the pavement. Double-click in this point to finish the operation. Make sure that the Suspend Groups function is on. Select the left vertical segment of the retaining wall and activate the Split command. Click on the top external corner of the left sliding door. With the Shift key pressed, draw a line across the selected wall. Move the eyeball cursor downwards and click one more time to keep the bottom part of the wall selected. Move the selected wall 2300 millimeters to the left. 2000 is the distance between the external wall and the retaining wall, and 300 is the retaining wall thickness. You can simply activate the drag command, click on the top external corner of the sliding door, and then click on the top left corner of the retaining wall. With the Shift key pressed, add the horizontal retaining walls, located above and below the moved wall, to the selection. Then push the Intersection button in the standard toolbar. Hit Escape to deselect all walls. Select the upper level pavement slab, which is on the minus 0.050 level. Activate the Insert New Node command and click on the bottom right corner of the intermediate retaining wall. Offset the left bottom segment of the slab on the right surface of the new retaining wall. And deselect the slab. From the top guideline tab, drag the new guideline downwards and place it on the external contour line of the curved wall. Select the intermediate retaining wall, click on its top reference line node, and using the stretch length command, move this node on the guideline. As per usual, don't forget to hold down the shift key. Hit escape to deselect the wall.